Seven days in Sweden. A great itinerary for a week in Sweden. Sweden is one of the most beautiful European countries you'll ever visit, guaranteed. The landscape is stunning and the people welcoming. Make the most of your trip by seeing as much as you can. The best way to do this is by car. The Swedes are friendly and helpful people, in case you need help or insight on the best places to go and where to stay. There are countless places of interest in Sweden, including the Ice Hotel up north. But because Sweden is big, we will focus on a more concentrated trip, taking you on a seven-day road trip through the southern half of Sweden and its most idyllic coastal towns. Day 1, Arrival and Stockholm. No alt text provided for this image. Chances are you will be arriving in Stockholm, the capital of Sweden. It is the ideal place to start your journey. The city is beautiful, but over Christmas time, it will take your breath away. The old town part of Stockholm is called Gamla Stan, and if you only get to explore one area, this one has to be it. Dating back to the 13th century, cobblestone streets line medieval alleys and shops. The royal palace is also situated in the old town. There you can watch the changing of the guard and book a trip to the treasure chamber. Stockholm also boasts an impressive number of museums, including the famous Vasa Museum, home to a 17th century royal warship. Day 2, Kalmar, Holland. No alt text provided for this image. The 358-kilometer trip from Stockholm will be your longest driving stretch, while you are still fresh. Get an early start to properly explore Kalmar, also known as the Crystal Country. Quite self-explanatory, the area is famous for its rich crystal production. The town itself reminds of a fairy tale village with its castles and cathedral. Don't rush through, spend a day here and enjoy the delightful town. Kalmar is also joined to the Baltic island of Holland by a six-kilometer bridge. Day 3, through Skane to Marmo. No alt text provided for this image. Also known as Skane, the southernmost part of Sweden is a unique experience, extending between golden sandy beaches and beautiful national parks. At 234 kilometers from Kalmar, the area combines tranquil country life in the gentle valleys of green forests with a vibrant city life. Major cities in this region include Helsingborg and Marmo and offer a wide selection of quality hotels at reasonable prices. Day 4, Gokborg. No alt text provided for this image. Today, let's head north to Gokborg in the morning. It's about a three-hour drive. Some people prefer Gokborg over Stockholm simply because the city provides for a more authentic Swedish experience. It is a bustling metropolis while still maintaining that personal touch. Leisberg and Slottskogen are the two major attractions. Leisberg is the biggest amusement park in Scandinavia, while Slottskogen literally means the castle forest. You'll find out what's behind the name as soon as you see it. Instead of city sightseeing, you can also use Gokborg as a base while exploring the surrounding coastal towns today. Then, stay at one of the local hotels. Day 5, Orbro. No alt text provided for this image. Day 5 starts out with the last long drive of your journey, a scenic four-hour route going northeast on the E20 to Orbro. Another amazing city, but this one was blessed with one main attraction, Stadstradgarden. It was voted as Sweden's most beautiful national park and merges with Wardkoping Museum Village, another highlight. Wardkoping is more than a museum, it is a life, breathing part of the city. Very interesting. Day 6, Uppsala. No alt text provided for this image. A friendly, famous college town 172 kilometers northeast from Orbro, Uppsala used to be the capital of Sweden and the religious hub for Vikings. It was even voted one of the best cities in Sweden. Visit Gamla Uppsala to follow in the Viking footsteps by visiting the Grave Mounds. Visit the impressive 1,000-year-old church that still stands to this day and enjoy some mead in a Swedish pub before retiring to one of the many hotels in Uppsala. The city itself is filled with medieval creations and old tales of historic deeds and redemption. It is also home to the largest cathedral in Scandinavia. Day 7, Stockholm. 
No all text provided for this image. Uppsala is a mere 70 kilometers north of Stockholm, so you need not rush the last stretch of your trip. Enjoy a lazy breakfast, head back towards Stockholm and absorb the sights one last time. If you still have a day or two to spare before your departure, use this time to thoroughly enjoy all the different sights in Stockholm to conclude your trip.